I'm sure all of you have heard about coronavirus, plenty of news coverage, not a whole lot of truth. And I don't know if there's a specific agenda behind it, but there are certainly inconsistencies. If you want to know how to strengthen your immune system and protect yourself, definitely stick around till the end. Also, if you could please share this video, because anytime I talk about a popular topic, I don't seem to get any views. So far, over 80 people, I think over 100 this morning, have been reported dead in China, and they're claiming around 3,000 infected total, I think five or six of those cases being in the United States. The coronavirus's point of infection specifically originating in Wuhan, which is a province in eastern China. If only 3,000 people are infected worldwide, why are they building a hospital in Wuhan? Certainly, the half dozen hospitals in Wuhan have the capacity to hold thousands of people? Are they digging a burial ground instead? None of this really adds up, and I wouldn't believe any of these numbers. A recent report of 44,000 infected seems more accurate. And keep in mind, there are still hundreds of flights coming in and out of China. No government has adequately taken actions to prevent this. Two years ago, in that city, they built the Wuhan National Biosafety Laboratory that researches some of the world's most contagious viruses. In 2017, as the opening of the lab approached, scientists told the publication Nature of their worries that one of those killer viruses could escape and go on to infect members of the public. The scientists who spoke out in 2017 told Nature the work being carried out in Wuhan was important for the development of vaccines and treatments. In this facility, they were conducting tests on animals, including monkeys, as regulations on animal research are much looser in China than in Western countries. The latest strain of coronavirus, which scientists believe currently mutated to infect people through animal-human contact, has now spread to at least 10 other countries and seen nine cities with a combined population of 32 million people put on lockdown meaning they are unable to leave. So what really happened here? Did they engineer this disease on purpose? Was it accidentally leaked? I mean, if you have a world's most dangerous virus research facility in the middle of a city where a virus originates, I suspect that would be the first place to look. I wonder, if you zoom in on the virus with a microscope, does it say, made in China? One conspiracy is that people discovered a patent on the coronavirus back in 2015, so the disease has been known about for years, and the media was doing some damage control on this, saying it's a lie, and that those patents don't include the current strain of coronavirus. Paul Joseph Watson recently made a very funny video about bat soup because some people are blaming the coronavirus outbreak on eating bat soup, and I don't really know if there's merit to this, as it is one of the conspiracies that the media is saying is false. There was another news article confirming that the source of coronavirus is illegal meat that was sold in Wuhan. Is there a goal here? My speculation is more control of the food supply, regulating meat sales even more tightly, maybe trying to mandate a vaccination, perhaps even blaming it on climate change. Ice Age Farmer made a great video linking the solar minimums to viral pandemics. A solar minimum is part of the natural cycle of the sun. Every 11 years, solar activity peaks or minimizes. Right now, we are at a dead minimum of solar activity. All past solar minimums throughout the past thousand years have been marked with pandemics, such as smallpox, English sweats, the plague, and cholera. Now, we are being met with SARS, MERS, Zika, Ebola, and Influenza A. But once you read this study, it becomes eerily clear what's going on. It is to sunspot minima that we must turn to seek a possible explanation of the onset of pandemics. Sunspot minima are characterized by a weakening of the interplanetary magnetic field near the Earth, which allows for the entry of galactic cosmic rays as well as electrically charged bacteria and viruses to the Earth. More significantly, in our view, during solar minimum, new viruses, bacteria, and other microscopic biological entities can penetrate the inter 
interplanetary magnetic field barrier and reach the stratosphere. Descent of such particles to ground level by means of gravitational settling might take months or even years depending on size. The final descent phase through the troposphere would be mostly controlled by meteorological events. It is also of interest to note that the first descent of viral sized particles deposited into the stratosphere will occur at places where the stratosphere is thinnest. And by this argument, populated areas of China lying eastward of the Himalayan mountain range would present the best candidates. Wuhan, China is in this exact location. Coincidence? I think not. We are already seeing anti-meat propaganda. PETA's answer to fears over new SARS-like virus, go vegan right now. The World Health Organization says not to consume raw or undercooked animal products. And for those of you wondering, this is why I am so against everyone else, including the carnivores. I am putting my neck on the line while they will not talk about this or address this as they are part of the same corrupt food system that is just controlling what you're eating, not telling you that there might be global food shortages and that crop losses are devastating this year because of astrological, geological, whatever you want to call it, naturally magnetically driven climate change has nothing to do with human activity. But if you parallel it to human activity, you can control people's diets. In most cases, Every single influencer goes around with this fear-mongering propaganda. Could this be something more sinister? A depopulation agenda for the grand solar minimum? The people most vulnerable to this virus are the elderly, those with a weakened immune system. But I've heard that even in healthy 20 year olds, this virus completely flattens them. And immune system function is determined by nutrient intake and lifestyle. So by increasing quality animal foods in the diet, fat soluble vitamins specifically A, D, and K2, reducing EMF in the environment, and exercising, you can reduce your risk and improve your immune strength to the point where you don't have to worry about this virus. That being said, I would say 99.9% .9 of people on this planet are in a current state where they are not in ideal health to fight off this virus. They don't have enough nutrients. They're in a very high stress environment. They're not exercising. All of these principles are explained in my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. If you guys wanna check that out in the description below. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, whether it's preparing yourself for the future or understanding where you should be putting your time, your efforts at this moment. You know, these larger influencers, even the smaller vegan and carnivores will not touch this, will not talk about this because they're using the climate agenda, the environment agenda for their own well-being, to sell their products, to sell what they are being paid to tell you. Uh, it's unfortunate and it's part of the reason why, you know, I don't get as much traction. I'm not in this special club and we're seeing glimpses here and there of what the future entails. You can't even buy a face mask, a protective like surgical mask in New York anymore, let alone Wuhan, China. All of the grocery stores were completely sold out of food in Wuhan and that was after they jacked up prices tenfold. You will not be able to get any of these resources if these grand solar minimum things pan out like they have in the past, you know, with those medieval ages where millions and millions and millions of people perished. Uh, so this is very real. This is something that can happen in the future. And hopefully we can work together to spread this message and possibly make something larger happen to prevent the government, to prevent these larger people from controlling our food supply. Because when they have control of our food supply, like they do now, 5, 10, 15 years from now, when shit really hits the fan, you're going to get soy slop shoved down your throat. You're not going to have a choice to what you're eating, what vaccine you're getting, and that is going to be the reality. So thanks again for joining me, guys. Definitely check out my book down below, Frankie's Naturals, Frankie's Syringe Meat, if you'd like to support me and my goal of improving the health of everyone. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. The corona virus death toll there is now above 80. We know thousands of others are infected. Let me show you some of the pictures that have come in in the last few hours. So this is a hospital in Wuhan. It's under extreme pressure because of dwindling supplies and rising patient numbers. And you can see the conditions in which staff are having to work. It's a very different scene outside. This is the center of Wuhan. It's a city that's home to 11 million people. Not that you would know it. Many of the streets are deserted. People are being told they can't leave the city. They're being advised to stay indoors. Meanwhile, everyone else in China is being told, stay away from Wuhan. Next, this is 
Beijing. Uh, you'll see a number of people, uh, well, not from that shop, but lots of people wearing face masks. This is much quieter than the public transport would normally be because people are simply reluctant to go out. And then this is really interesting. A factory in Fujian province in eastern China. It's desperately trying to meet the spiraling demand for face masks across China. Thank you.